They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Give him six yards in the first down. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. A first down carry here for Johnson. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. That's going to set him back five yards. A false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to make it third down and ten. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know, the rhythm seems off. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And a lot of times, a guy like that at this level, all he needs is one block to spring him, and he was sprung. Just one, and that one turned into a huge, huge play. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups. One yard. On second and nine, Mahomes. He's going to go up top for the... And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland for the score as his guys continue to pour it on. I know a lot of people look at these games and think, all right, this thing's done. Let's have some sportsmanship. Let's not try and score. You should never do that in the NFL. I've seen big leads blown and teams that look like they had a victory, all of a sudden we're going home with a loss. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. 